championship record in winning eight consecutive frames. It means Williams now needs just two frames to face Ronnie O'Sullivan in a ranking final for the first time in 24 years. Taking you through the opening frames this evening are Ken Doherty and David Hendon. But first to introduce the players, here's our MC, Phil Seymour. Good evening and a very warm welcome to Johnston Paints Tour Championship in another full house here in Manchester! <laughs> it's time now to welcome the players. We begin with a man coming into the evening session with a commanding eight frame to nil lead. He's got 25 ranking titles on his record. He's a three-time world champion. He is the Welsh putting machine, Mark Williams! His opponent in the midst of an incredible season, which has seen him win the shootout, the champion of champions, and the players' championship. He's a former UK and Masters champion, the pistol, Mark Allen. <laughs> hear it as he enters the arena. We'll get a lot of support tonight. I'm sure a lot of people here, they paid the money, would like to see a comeback. Mark Williams, of course, just wants to get to 10. What an afternoon of snooker he produced. All round match play at its finest. Big breaks, excellent safety, and that wonderful temperament on full display. So from here, Alan has to win 10-1. That's the stark truth of it. It'd obviously be a some sort of victory. Well, firstly, to win a frame. He doesn't want to be whitewashed, obviously, but if he could take it to the interval, three of the first four, that would be something. Let's see. It's a new session, but it's an uphill battle. Frame nine, Matt Allen for break. Just as he starts one thing definitely in his credit, despite being hampered this afternoon, he stayed behind for about 15 minutes in the arena, posing for selfies and signing things which was great to see. I'm sure he would have rather got out of there, but it's, uh, to, as I say, to his credit. Yeah, good point you make there, Dave. A lot of players would have been out the door as quick as possible, but he stayed back and got some photographs of Mark Williams. You know, starting where he left off this afternoon. Another wonderful... One. A typical Mark Williams pot and of course the cue ball shorter the ball client. Beautifully dispatched. I think Stephen mentioned in the studio that was probably Hi. one of his best performances that he's seen him play since that wonderful World Championship win against John Higgins. I'd have to agree with him. He was incredible Six. this afternoon. Scored very heavily. Nearly had a 1-4-7 at one stage. But just the way in which he dominated the whole table, kept his opponent frozen, completely out. And a man whose opponent has been a dominant force over this season and last. Fourteen. Well, this is what Alan was hoping to do, I'm sure. Right from the off, get in, make a few, but Williams in once more. Yeah, and as much as they get on well, I mean, we saw them chatting away in the, in the practice room. Mike Williams would want to finish this match 22. off as quickly as possible.
doesn't want to give his opponent any sort of semblance of a possible <laughs> comeback. He is ruthless and as dominant as he was this afternoon. If he can't, good start so far. 30. Nice angle on the black now. Could play into the go into the right hand side of the pack as we look. Known full well, he'll still be on this red as close to his arm. No, he didn't want to this time. Could have done. 37. 38. Said John Mark's wife, of course, their son Joel is a bit of a player himself. One to watch out for in the future. But uh, Daddy's doing pretty well right now, isn't he? Forty-five. Is, uh, vintage Mark Williams. Forty-six. Yeah, last of the loose reds. Now can he keep the break going? I'll try and knock one or two out into the open. Looks pretty good. 51. 52. Well, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Williams are part of a golden generation of players, and they've both produced golden performances in the semi finals in different ways. 59. It looks very much like they're going head to head. 59. Tomorrow, just got to kill this frame off. Alan just wants to get some sort of chance. He hasn't had one yet in this frame. 50. Yeah. This cue ball has been well, absolutely pristine. 60. Throughout this break. One loose red still available, just left at a pink spot. Doesn't have to go into the reds. Nice angle. Get top side of the blue. 67 ahead. Just this red required. 67. Lovely. And he's got the nice 68. angle. And just cue ball right over the pink spot here. Just a gentle little cannon. Doesn't have to hit this too hard. Beautiful, beautiful. Doesn't get much better than this, does it? You know, we've had a, about three hours since the last session, but you would never know we'd been away. 74. I was looking at the uh, the records. The most whitewashes actually on tour in all matches, Judd Trump. Mark Williams second, but 10 nil at this stage of a tournament is very, very rare against another top player, Mark Allen, who's won... 81. Three titles this season, but it's certainly on now, isn't it? Williams needs one 82. more frame to complete an extraordinary victory. Yeah, you just you, you don't see it at this level, do you? I mean, we haven't seen it for many, many years. Particularly two of the top 89. players in the world. Now, the last 10 nil on TV, it was five years ago at the World Championship. Sean Murphy beat Lu Hong Hao, who's a, a debutant first round. But this is a semi-final of a big, big tournament. Two big, big names. Lots of people had views on who was going to win. Come on, nobody called 10 nil. Either way. 97. So Mark Williams has already had two centuries. This is the very definition of a perfect start to the evening. Long red. Lovely break. Black for a century. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. 105. Possible 140 on. He takes black. 106. Well, at least he can't beat Mark Allen's 142. <laughs> that, that would have been rubbing it in. Of course, he could have done it earlier with the maximum attempt.
113. One hundred and fifteen. Even there, they just struck that so cleanly, so crisply, perfect on the green. One hundred and eighteen. Average shot time, just eighteen seconds as well. What a, what a start to the evening. One hundred and twenty-two. One hundred and twenty-seven. Right, it's just felt like the perfect break. This never been in trouble. One hundred and thirty-three. We were wondering, well, could Mark Allen put pressure on early on? Could he win a couple? But in fact, in just over eight minutes, Mark Williams has made a total clearance. One hundred and forty. If anything, he's getting better and better. An extraordinary display by the Welshman here in Manchester today. Nine nil. He needs one more and he's in the final. And Mark Allen avert the whitewash. First of all, he's got to get frame in. He 10. didn't have a chance in that last frame. First chance Mark Williams got. First shot, long red. Made a 140. Third century of the day, 9 0. One more to take on Ronnie O'Sullivan in what would be a scintillating final tomorrow. You just go back to thinking about Mark Williams' first match at this Tour Championship against Tom Ford, who made four centuries against Mark Williams in the, the last frame decider. Mark Williams was 50 yards behind. He made this incredible clearance, one of the best clearances I think we've ever seen, to get himself into the quarterfinals. And then, of course, beat Judd Trump. And now, well, I'm playing snooker from the gods at the moment, Mark Williams. So close for Mark Allen. But left the red. Good part with the rest. Tried to One. keep the black in play. And it's gone safe. So that may scupper his chances of the frame winning break from this position. Well, this would be some shot. You can see how far the pink is away from its spot. But if he hits a full ball, he may be able to split the reds up. He may try it as well. What a shot this would be. Almost. Oh, the pink is gone. Foul. <laughs> Lucky. It certainly wasn't easy. Good attempt. Just a second.
one. Good pot, not a great kiss, but he is on the green. Okay, the angle a little bit more acute than he would have liked, but still potable. Doesn't like it. Matt Allen one. He's desperate to get a frame on the board, Mark Allen. Could have taken a chance at that green, but thought about waiting and maybe a better opportunity may arise. May not though. Very hard to carve out an opportunity against this wily old fox, Mark Williams. Yeah, that's been the thing, isn't it? He just hasn't seen anything. He's, uh, this is frame 10, and that ready potted makes it only the fourth frame today he's actually potted a ball in. Safety today for Mark Williams has been really top quality. 88% as opposed to Mark Allen, 65%. High 80s is a great return. Can he avoid the black here, the left hand side of the table, back up to bulk? We can do. And it's not too bad. Red may be cuttable. He doesn't fancy it, Mark Williams, so... Another safety shot. Four cushions, trying to get somewhere close to the green. pace on the cue ball, nice little sporting recognition from his opponent. <coughs> Not straightforward to get the cue ball back to ball here. That black is causing a little bit of a problem. Tried to play a containing safety shot, but he's left the red. the crowd would like to see well hey Alan win a frame 
but B, some sort of recovery. I mean, they get on well with these two, and Alan said he reminded Mark Williams that he's won nine of the last ten between them. Well, I can guarantee if this is 10 nil, Mark Williams will be reminding him about this for many years to come. That's what he's like. So the whitewash is uh, be a horrible thing to happen just before the World Championship for Alan. Shake it ahead from Mark Allen will tell us that it's pretty strafe in the blue. Could leave the cue ball on the blue spot. Play a red into a corner pocket. No, he could force it slightly. Five, six, sorry. The reds are nicely spread, but he really needs pink or black on one of the spots. Black is tied up, black spot, pink spot is available. So I'm sure and the fact that the pink is probably the best ball after the blue, but the fact that it's over yeah. that hand, that left hand side of the table. That, it's not bad for a left-hander. Back up for blue this time, but you would expect them to try and get that pink on the spot. Maybe in a couple of shots' time. Twelve. Very difficult to keep trying to play for blues all the time. And that's the problem. It's always difficult to keep getting top side of the blue. Once again, too straight. Twenty three. Another time, dead straight on the blue. Just cannot get top side of it at the moment. Willing himself to pot these, isn't he? He might get that sort of ironic, or have that ironic celebration if he wins a frame. I mean, if he lost 10 1, it would be pretty hard to take, but there's something psychological about a whitewash 35. that you feel would be more scarring.
36. Forty two. Lots of right hand side. Could break this under the circumstances. Forty eight. So two more pots to win his first frame. The problem is this is frame ten. Might be a bit of a cheer, I think, when this red goes in. <laughs> 53. I think you get the loudest cheer today. No doubt. The crowd want to see a bit more. <laughs> well played, Mark Allen. He <laughs> 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 deserved that. Hand up. Nobody beats him 10 nil, he says. <laughs> 60. I think the tendency always is to think it's going to be close between top players, but let's go back to the Champion of Champions final in Bolton this season. Of course, he played Judd Trump. You beat him 10 3. You can get these one sided encounters. But as he says, it's not going to be 10 nil. And he 65. could actually, despite all his travails today, make a century here. Oh. Well, 65 will do. So Mark Allen is finally on the score sheet. But Mark Williams, still a virtual certainty to reach the final. But at least Alan has a frame to his name. He trails here 9 1. Back Mark Allen's highest break of the match. 65 has earned him frame 10, but he trails 9 1. So Mark Williams still one away from a meeting with Ronnie O'Sullivan tomorrow. And it will be their first time they've played in a ranking final, unbelievably, for 24 years. 2000. They've only played in three, all in the year 2000. 33-9 to Ronnie on the head-to-head -head overall. That's all to come tomorrow. Right now, Williams still needs to win this one frame to put himself through to the title match. Frame 11, Matt Allen to break. Good you are, how talented you are in any sport. Always a little bit of luck helps. Doesn't feel like he necessarily needs it at this point, though. <laughs> no. Matt Williams one. Chance for Mark Allen. Get this cue ball right up behind the green and blue here. Almost.
Now, does this red pass the other one? I think it does. Plenty of realm. Lovely pot once again. Right in the heart of the pocket. Lovely sound off the back of the ladder when you hits the centre of the pocket. Now yeah, that's the chance he was waiting for, Mark Williams. Hey. Plenty of loose reds around the black. <gasps> oh, wow. Well. Mark Williams, eight. Would you believe it? Yeah, this just didn't happen this afternoon, but an unexpected miss from Williams. He's as confused as anybody. that he ideally wanted but maybe forced into taking this black on cue ball going into reds he's got to get it tough cook back yeah. good part but not enough pace on the cue ball Eight. Eight. Thought he got that. He was on the walk around the table for the next colour, but red stayed out. This is the position Alan's in, though. Every time he comes to the table, it could be his last shot. He won't be expecting, obviously, to win the match, but he'd like to put up as much of a, a fight as he can, and that's what you'd expect from him. And I'll try to drop the red in, stay on the black. The red didn't go in. One. Got a few loose reds to go at here. Might bring the cue ball down the right hand side of the table as we look. Three. He's on this red, but it's not a great angle. Cue ball would be careering into the, the bunch. May take a chance and bring the pink into play here. Wow, look at this. Foul. Matt Williams, three. Matt Allen, seven. <coughs> Mark Williams' concentration has just dropped. Possibility, long red. Cooking on the black here as well. Yeah, 
good shot. And nicely on the black. Very good. Still in big trouble, but players always thrive on a good atmosphere and it must be Eight. great to hear the crowd getting behind him trying to will him to get a few frames on the board nine sixteen yeah, and there's a lot of pride at stake as well. When you're behind so far, you you want to, you know, give the crowd something to cheer, your fans something to cheer for. Seventeen. Even the neutrals and the and the audience will want to prolong this match as long as possible. So I'd be trying as hard as be concentrating, trying to, you know, win frames in one visit. And this is a glorious chance. Possibly in the back of his mind, he's thinking, why couldn't Mark Williams have made these mistakes this Third afternoon? One. Early on, he didn't make any, really. has gone on the blue spot as well just makes this break a little bit easier those three reds around that pink spot are all potable once again it's got to get top side of the pink 40. it's been struggling to do that and once again <coughs> short of pace He's showing good character, I think. It would be very easy to have given up or just start taking on ridiculous shots. He's not done that tonight. <laughs> 56 in front, so he does need one more red here to win his second frame. Three. Yeah, so this red is the one that should make it 9-2. Oh, but it stays out. 56 in it then, still 59 Mark available. Allen, 53.
That should go. Right. And still a chance that there's going to be an interval here. It will be if he wins the next frame. Man on one, end of frame. William started the evening superbly with a 140. He started to make a few errors. Mark Allen has capitalised. And he wins. He's it's 9 2. Comeback is on. Well, maybe not, but he has won. Mark Allen 2 on the spin. 9 2. If he can win this one, it means the match will go to mid session interval. Yeah, they have his shot times in this session. Williams, of course, that's mainly down to the 140, 16. Good effort, that. He would have been on the black. I think it's the first time Mark Williams has left him. One of those reds from his break-off. Just, yeah, just gone a little bit too far. Too far for the yellow into the right middle. Too short for the yellow into the green Mother pocket. So that's all he could do. Trickle up behind. Pretty good. Yeah, another example of Mark Williams' concentration. Just dropped slightly. Should never have hit the blue there. And it's given Mark Allen. Long red to go out here. Could get on the black. I'm not sure he's got to take this long. Pretty straight red. No, long way away.
back Williams would like to get the cue ball as he comes down just to make sure there's no plants. Uh, I'd like to get the cue ball maybe between brown and yellow here. Somewhere over the left hand side of the table as we look. Be a little bit more difficult. Well there's two reds there, as you can see. Not directly a plant into this left corner, but possibly could be made. But yeah, that's where he wanted to get the cue ball over that left hand side. He's done a good job of it. Yeah, I mean, in general, Williams' safety has been superb in this match. 84% success, coupled with 93% pot success. That's the, the story of the day, really. Once again, short the pace, knock the red towards this left corner. Black is available once again. One. Purposely leaving himself a nice angle on the black. Just stun up into the two reds right above the black. Leave himself a red into the right corner after this. That's perfect. Lovely shot. Eight. Seventeen. Twenty-two. Well, he's having a good look at this red. I think it is on, but... Let's mm. come around to have a look at another red, but I think this one is okay. No problem, nicely on the black. Yeah, with that red, he's actually now potted more balls in this session than he did the whole of the afternoon. And got to say, it's a wonderful chance to reduce the gap further. Running a bit, this cue ball. Oh, it kept running. 
Wow. 31. So much space to get on something there. And it's gone wrong. Well, brave shot. He's going to take the blue one, so it must go in. Shot. He's been unlucky. Great pot. Keep the break going, but the cue ball has drifted Six. in behind this red. Now, is he on this red? Doesn't look like it from here. Don't think he is. No. It's unlucky. We've shown a lot of character here tonight, Mark Allen. Can only play a safety shot. Desperately wants to keep the break going, but I'll have to just take his medicine and play a telling safety shot back to Bork. Matt Allen, 36. <laughs> if that key would have kept coming, he would have been nice on the black. Green. Green. Matt Allen, one. So much years ago at the World Qualifiers, it was actually the final round. Nick Walker against Rod Lawler, and Nick was 9 0 up. At the halfway stage, you can imagine the first time at the cruise ball, it, it would have been all his family and friends ringing him up and can I get tickets, all that stuff. He won the first four back, but even so, 9-4, it's not that bad. He went 9-8, and Nick got over the line 10-8, but my word, the, the blood had drained from his face by that point. Hold on. Yeah, even recently, oh, yeah, two top players, and then Robertson, of course, against John Higgins, was the final of the players, was it, where he was 9-4 up? John Higgins, and then Robertson clawed all the way back to Pippham 10-9, so big comebacks are possible. And that's all Mark Allen has to do, he's just got to sort of play as hard as he can, like every frame is almost as the first frame and just not give it to his opponent easy you know, try and make him work for it and that's exactly what he's doing here he's not playing any rash shots he's keeping it as tight as possible trying to say to his opponent well you go and pot them if you can but I'm not going to give it to you too easy
And there's another lackluster safety shot for Mark Williamson. Leaving this red over the right centre. It's potable. One. Could cost him another frame. It's just gone off the boil. Mark Williams at the moment, since he made that wonderful break in the first. Concentration has dropped quite considerably. Yeah, it's almost like the match was kind of won, which it felt like it was, let's be honest, when he made that 140. But Mark Allen poised to take us to the mid-session interval here. Very commendable what he's done here. You know, at 9 0, getting a shot in that first frame, hit with a 140 break, and he's just slumped in your chair. A lot of players would have just, well, wanted to get out of the arena as quickly as possible, but great champions don't do that. And I'll stay there and fight two and nail. 12. That's exactly what is shown here. Lots of cuts and determination, pride. Yeah, and, and self-respect as well. He hasn't just come out whacking the balls around, has mm. he, as if it's all over. He's playing here as he was playing or trying to play 17. this afternoon. What he needed was for Williams to start making errors, which is what's happened. Yeah. It's respect for himself, for the game. 18. And indeed... For the crowd as well. Paid good money. See you. A lot of snooker tonight. With respect for them. Well, they'll be seeing at least one more frame because that was frame ball. So 25. 8 0 when they resumed. A 140 from Williams. But Mark Allen has dug in. He's fed 26. off a few errors from his opponent. And there will be a 15 minute interval. And he, Mark Williams will probably welcome the interval when it comes, just to clear his head a little bit. He won't be panicking, no doubt about that. He's too laid back, too experienced. 33. But a couple more frames from Mark Allen might start to worry a little bit. Mark Allen's cue is... Well, got a little freer. Entertaining shots now. Wonder will he try and take the green 46. off the cushion here? Hit the, the red in. Lots of pace. Bring the green into play. Ooh, tried. Perfect on the blue instead. 47. The main thing is he's finally played some snooker in this match. I mean, there were long periods this afternoon where he was just completely shut out. Here we go. <laughs> Suddenly he's enjoying himself. Maybe, though, that the interval actually helps Williams refocus, get that concentration back. Finally kill this match off. He's still a heavy favourite, obviously, but Mark Allen put 61. together three good frames here. 66. This is his highest break, in fact, of the match now. You just never know, do you, in this game? We've seen all sorts of things down the years. We've never seen anyone win from 9-0 down in the best of 19. But Mark Allen's doing his best. He's extended the evening past the interval. A dashing 79 clearance from the Antrim man. Mark Williams not through to that final yet. His lead has been cut to 9-3.
nine frames to three. Taking you through to the conclusion of this one in the commentary box are Alan McManus and Phil Yates. And first to reintroduce the players, here's Phil Seymour. Would you please welcome back to the table your referee, Queenie Lou, and your semi-finalists, Mark Williams and Mark Allen. sense there that Mark Williams walked out with a renewed sense of urgency. Just wants to get this done. But Mark Allen proving stubborn. Thank you. Frame 13, Matt Allen to break. I've seen matches like this in the past. The one that springs to mind was the 1991 Classic in Bournemouth. Stephen Hendry was on a run of 36 consecutive matches won in ranking events. Unbelievably, in the final, he went 9-0 down to Jimmy White. Came back to 9-4. White got the verdict in the end. But I tell you what, Alan McManus, if Mark Allen can keep chipping away, nothing's impossible. Yes, yeah, highly improbable, obviously, but you just never know. You keep, as you say, chipping away. And the bottom line is don't give in. So credit to Mark for digging in the last two or three frames. Say Mark. <laughs> Colin, obviously. One real incentive might be to make Eight. the highest break of the tournament and snaffle an extra ten thousand pounds. Nine. He's already made a one four two here, Mark Allen. Thirteen. So the main priority in that regard is to stop Williams going past it. And just a word for Queenie Lou, she's been superb, her first time in the UK, officiating, just a doing a terrific job. Top handy work there too. That was quite tricky, wasn't it? Get the pink in amongst those reds. Minimum of fuss. She's 
she's one of those referees. 19. It's apparent she's got what you need. Quiet efficiency. Twenty. <laughs> Yeah, that will annoy him. Twenty-five. Was a big target, the right half of the pack. There, just let the cue ball slip to the left half of the pink just then. I have to say, Mark Allen has been a model professional today, even when things were going completely against him at his lowest ebb. He's never given up, never lost his discipline or commitment. And remarkably, at the end of the first session, 8-0 down, effectively out. He spent around 15 minutes in the arena signing autographs and posing for selfies. But that will test anyone's patience. Yes, initially, it looked like he'd done plenty of damage. Mark Williams, that's a bonus. Six. And that's end the break. Seven. Mark Williams, seven. Now, here's a long straightish red, the one next to the pink. Doesn't have to play it, but does he fancy it? He's gone off the boil. Time being, so... Deciding to renege it. The first sign he was going a little cold tonight was in the second frame when he missed a red to that top right-hand pocket as we're looking, much easier than the one he's just refused. Since then, the excellent form of this afternoon has gradually dissipated.
Yeah, he's not back in this match yet, not by a long hey. chalk, but there's a definite wind of change blowing through Manchester Central at the moment. Nine. And because of his feisty trait, Alan will be not relishing this because he wants to be winning the match. Not savouring it. But enjoying 16. being involved. Seventeen. Thirty. Thirty-one. Nine four is looming. Thirty-eight. forget in the final two years ago another member of the class of 92 John Higgins he was 9-2 up on Neil Robertson lost 10-9 29 52. Alan was responsible for only one half century break this afternoon. Mark Williams, the victory celebrations for him continue to be delayed. It was natural light outside when this session began and when Mark Williams moved into a 9-0 lead with a break of 140. Since then, unbelievably, he's amassed only 25 points. Mark Allen winning four consecutive frames from nowhere Helped by breaks of 65, 53, 79, and 56. <laughs> Just get the one stop. <laughs> Odds remain stacked against Allen. Frame 40, Matt Williams to break. But Williams wants to put this to bed right here, right now.
Juan. That will do nicely. Six. Seven. Mark Williams, for all of his great achievements, knows about the, the devastation of losing from well in front. In 2010, in the UK Championship final, he was 9-5 up on... Sean Higgins lost 10-9. Higgins needed a snooker in one of those frames. Around that same time, he lost a big lead against Stuart Bingham in the Australian Open final. 12. He was took with three to play in the Shanghai Masters final against Mark Selby and didn't get over the line. So even great champions can sometimes crumble on the verge of victory. Matt Williams, 12, Matt Allen, 4. Yeah, the tide continues. To move in the other direction than it had for pretty much all day until the last what, 45 minutes or so of this semi-final. That's a what? terrific poke at pace. An awful lot to aim at there, so he's off and running again. Full ball cannon on the pink. Got it half ball, hence losing. Cue ball a tad. Once that happened, he was always going to rely on some good fortune. In this on perhaps because the black's tied up, he's guaranteed leaving a red. Great shot, very good. Seven. Right now, there's a looseness in the cue arm of Mark Allen. It will get a little tighter as the prospect of victory becomes. even a quarter really. but right now he's the one with the momentum 12 nothing to lose <laughs> 13 19. So many options here, the two reds directly above the black. A nice target. Hmm, 
and it's not what he was after. 24. Wanted the choice of two, only really has one. He's realistically going to play. Going to have to work the cue ball out of there. Might spring the black into the open. Going back up table, yeah. 25. Twenty seven. Key shot here must get above the blue line. Twenty eight. Shake of the head tells you it's no good. It's much to work with, if anything. Pinch the pocket, force the cue ball down this way. Oh, if he's found the gap, what a shot. He's on it. What a shot that was. So free. There you go. Forty-one. The Reds refused to move as he wanted them. You can see there the middle one of the three in a line will not pot. Yeah, the plant's close and it's quite tempting. Question though of if he takes it on. Can he play it with enough pace to get the red away from the pocket? Should he not make that plant? Fabulous shot, wasn't it? He took a while over that to make the decision and pull the trigger. He did the right thing. Six. I think generally his pace of play this evening has been spot on. It's finding... That middle ground, I think, with him. Doesn't want to be like he used to be, hustling, bustling around the table really quickly. But doesn't want to bog himself down either because that is self-destructive. As for Mark Williams, a few worries might be entering that mind. 55. He's laid back, he shrugs things off. But a few demons might be circling. Sixty 
62. The resilience of Mark Allen is maintained from 9-0 down. It's now 9-5. So often in the history of snooker, matches have been ridiculously transformed. The biggest comeback in the first round at the Crucible, i.e. a best of 19 frame match, involved Nigel Bond, who came back from 9-2 down to beat Cliff Thorburn 10-9. Thorburn, a former world champion. So is Mark Williams. Frame 15. Break. I'm not saying this is the thought process of Mark Williams, Allen, but you get to a certain stage in matches where you're not thinking how nice it would be to win. You're thinking how terrible it would be to lose. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, pal. The normal mortals, maybe. Yeah, I get your point. I think we also must remember there's just no panic in Mark Williams. Take you back six years to the World Championship final. Led John Higgins 17-15. John produced a 65 clearance. Take it to 17-16. And as Alex Higgins did in 82, Mark produced a break of 69. I think those two breaks are up there with the, the best in the history of the game. Cool as a cucumber. Let's get it. I think in general today's middle pocket potting has been right up there. Some really big pressure shots have been knocked in. Not latterly, but in laying the foundations for what is still a highly likely victory. Seven. Hmm, that's probably end of break. That's no good unless he can find a Eight. way in and out of bulk. This is such a nasty one. <laughs> Great shot. Not out the woods just yet. 13. A little bit of pressure in this one. What pressure? Great shot. 14. Wasn't it just absolutely sweet queuing? Twenty-two. 
ทรนที่น้อยเจอทีI'm a little nervous for him. Don't know why. <laughs> yeah, he's a cool cat. This guy. Forty-five. Sixty-nine break to get the final one six years ago against John. <laughs> The red, the first red that he ported to that right middle, is I don't know one of the best shots I've ever seen. Still, let's get back and deal with the present. He's still got a bit to do. Forty-six. Forty-nine. Now just a handful of pots away from what would be his forty-first career ranking final. His third of the season. His first two came. Early in the campaign at the Championship League, which 56. he lost, and then at the British Open, which he memorably won. Fifty-seven. Credit to that fella there for digging in. That's what you got to do because you're putting you around in this game. Lots of people will remember this performance from Mark Williams because it's been sensational, especially that first session. But everyone will remember the way Mark Allen say dug his heels in tonight. Yes, and conducted himself 62. with class. Very much so. Now then, red black for placing the final. Sixty-three. He won't be dropping the guard just yet. One more red. Then he'll be relieved. Puff of the cheeks, the job's done now, he knows it. And what a final it's going to be tomorrow. The class of 92 just will not go away. 75. <laughs> They're back for more, another final. What a day it's going to be tomorrow. Don't miss it. <laughs> for a spell, the magic of the Welsh wizard seemed to disappear. But as crisis was looming, Williams delivered, and what a performance. Let's not forget how he played to reach 9-0. In the end, it's 10-5, and into yet another final, he marches.